Hey everybody, this is Web Pickers Gill. I'm here to review today this microphone here, which is the Mackie EM91CU. It is a USB condenser microphone. Um, cool. Before we get started, quick shout out to the Podcastage. Great YouTube video series that actually reviews microphones way better than I do. But I kind of use his methodology here, so... Check out the podcast, really awesome. Okay, let's get on with the review here. We got what comes in the box. Well, here's the box. The EM91CU condenser mic from Mackie. Uh, it's kind of really hard to see here, but there's like little foam cutouts for a couple different pockets there. Um, obviously it comes with the microphone, which is right here. Obviously the uh, location where the, the emblem is, is where you would speak into the mic. comes with the shock mount. Um, it does not come with a threaded adapter for a boom arm like this. So I had to borrow this to get it on my boom uh, arm. Uh, but it does come with a shock mount. also comes with a uh, USB cable. So that comes in the box. Very handy. We got some coupons here for some free apps. We have uh, Avid's Pro Tools first. Pretty cool. And over here, we get a free download for Waveform OEM and the DAW Essentials Collection. Free stuff. And of course, it comes with user manual. Got to have a user manual. First, some quick settings. I'm on an iMac 2012. Um, and as you can see, I've got the EM91CU microphone selected. It's always really nice when the manufacturer takes time to like properly name the device in the USB instead of some obscure stream of numbers. Anyway, this is well done. Thank you. I've got my volume set here between 75% and 100%. Seems to give me uh, the same amount of gain that I would have on my other microphone system, which we'll be comparing to later. But just for uh, the sake of a comparison, let's listen to some input levels and what they sound like. So. Let me see, I'm about six inches away. This is the sound of my voice, about six inches away at about, let's say, 85%. This is the sound of my voice at about 50%. This is the sound of my voice at about 25%. This is the sound of my voice at 100%. I think we're gonna back it off to about 80, 85% for the rest of this test. So this is speaking directly into the microphone uh, at about six inches away. This is the sound of my voice. When we go to about 90 degrees off, this is what it sounds like. This is the sound of my voice. Let's go around to the back. This is the sound of my voice. This probably sounds pretty muffled. We're going to find out. And then finally, let's talk into the top. This is the sound of my voice. I have a feeling all of those don't sound pretty good, but I'm sure that this probably sounds the best right here. This is the sound of my voice. That's just a guess. 30 degrees off angle from my mouth, so that way when I speak forward, um, none of the plosives are going to hit into the mic and you'll get an idea of really what it sounds like. That brings up a good point though. This microphone does not come with a windscreen or a pop filter, so you'll want to purchase them separately. Although I will show you what it sounds like with them later. Um, just in case you wanted to buy them, you want to know what it sounds like. All right. First, we want to demonstrate if I come right into the mic, right about one or two inches away. I'm purposely bringing down the volume of my voice. This is to demonstrate the proximity effect and how it sounds when your voice is right up against the mic. It's probably really warm, really bassy. Okay. This is about six inches away. This is where you're going to be speaking most of the time. Here we are about one foot away from the microphone, and this is the sound of my voice and what it sounds like here. Hello. Oh man, I'm gonna have to move that. Give me a second. Okay, this is what it sounds like um, about what, four feet, five feet away from the mic? Talking about the same level that I was before, maybe a little bit louder. One second. Five, ten feet or so array away from the microphone. Hello, can you hear me? I have no idea if you can. Okay, to do some plosive rejection tests, we're gonna line the mic straight up with my voice to say, please send pizza pronto. Please send pizza pronto.
let's add a windscreen. This windscreen is not included with the kit. This is just for testing purposes. Please send pizza pronto. Please send pizza pronto. P -p -p <sighs> Finally, let's test it with a pop filter. Of course, this pop filter is not included with the kit. This is just for testing purposes. Please send pizza pronto. Please send pizza pronto. So some of you guys are gamers and want to know what this is like. If you're playing a game online and you're trying to podcast with it, this is what some keyboard no noise, <laughs> keyboard nurse, key keyboard, no keyboard noise sounds like when you are playing and talking at the same time. All right, so it looks like I'm hiding behind the microphones here, but um, this is for a sake of comparison. Over on this side, we have the Mackie uh, microphone that we're testing. And on this side, we actually have a Audio-Technica 2035. This is a, um, a little higher end microphone and it also, it's XLR based. Um, just so you know the setup, it goes into my Mo2 M2 uh, audio interface, which has a USB interface into my iMac. Um, it has a 48 volts of phantom power and is set at about noon for input level. Let's do some tests between these mics and see what they sound like. Mary had a little lamb. Her fleece was white as snow. Mary had a little lamb. Her fleece was white as snow. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. All right, I'm backed off a foot so I can yell a little bit. And this is what it sounds like when I'm raising my voice at about a foot away. Take that. Oh yeah? Well, take that. This is a foot off the microphone coming at you at the 2035. How do you like them apples? Mm-hmm. And just because we can, here I am on the microphone with just a whisper. How does that sound? At just a whisper? I don't know. I'm right up against the Audio-Technica microphone. It's just a whisper. How does this sound? I'm very curious. We will find out in a few minutes when I play it back. Whisper. Whisper. Okay, it's conclusion time. Overall, I think this mic did really pretty well for its price range. Um, I mean, this mic is only about 50 bucks and it's USB based, so it doesn't need an audio interface. And it held up pretty well against my, uh, my AT2035. When you get really close, it's got that really warm sound. Um, really deep, lots of uh, mid to low, so the bass response is really nice. I'm a bass player, so like bass response is cool for me. As far as what you get in the box, um, you got the mic, you got the the cable and the shock mount. That's a pretty good deal. And then that way you can get any kind of arm and any kind of accessories that you want uh, to mount it either to your desk or to an arm. So um, for 50 bucks, uh, it's a pretty good deal. Listening carefully to the noise floor, uh, it did pretty well uh, compared to uh, you know an XLR based microphone. The noise floor was a little bit higher. It was noticeable, but it was still pretty good. Um, so no complaints there at all. So I would recommend this for some professional use. Yeah, you could definitely do a podcast with this. You could do some audiobooks maybe. If you're an independent. Uh, VO artist and you've got maybe a treated room and you're doing some auditions and maybe some some light VO work on the side this could probably hold up okay for you um, until obviously your your clients might say I don't know you might need to upgrade your mic but this is definitely a good entry point uh, in my opinion all right so yeah to wrap it up I'm happy with this mic I'm glad because this is uh, I'm looking for a mic for my son for him doing his own kind of podcast and YouTube channel so I think we found ourselves the winner for him. So very cool. Okay, well, that's it. I hope this microphone review was helpful for you. Have a good day.